Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to connect a keyboard to your Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 series. So I'll cover how to connect a wireless keyboard, a wireless keyboard and also a keyboard case which you may have for your Tab S8 series. So let's start off with the wired keyboard. So in order to do this you need to check what type of cable your wired keyboard uses. So my keyboard uses USB type A. This means I cannot plug it in directly to the Tab S8. What I need to do is I need to get an adapter which converts USB Type A, which I can input in one end, and then I can convert that into USB Type C. And then all you do is you plug the USB Type C end directly into the Tab S8. So we'll just give it a couple of seconds. You can see the keyboard is lit up, and now we are good to go. So you can see here, just like that, everything is fully working on the keyboard end. Now, in order to connect a wireless keyboard, I don't have one with me, but I can show you the process. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up the settings app. And then inside the settings, you're going to tap into connections, Bluetooth. And then inside the Bluetooth, once you're here, you want to turn your keyboard into pairing mode. So if you don't know how to place your keyboard into pairing mode, go on to Google, search up how to place your keyboard name into pairing mode. The reason why I'm not covering this in this video is because there are thousand plus keyboards with different techniques. Place your keyboard into pairing mode and then under available devices, you should see your keyboard. If you don't, at the top right, there is a scan button, tap on that. If you still don't see it, tap on stop, then scan again and the, uh, the keyboard should show up. Tap into it and then it will connect to your Tab S8. If you're having issues with the connection, turn off Bluetooth, turn, uh, turn it back on, scan again, and then that should solve any uh, issues. Now, what well, if you want to connect a keyboard case? So I have a keyboard case right here. And so in order to connect it, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to first of all remove my, uh, my wire keyboard because it takes a bit too much space. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to check the bottom. So there should be this triple dot connector on the keyboard case. If your keyboard case doesn't have this, I will cover what you need to do. If your keyboard case does have this, make sure that the keyboard is facing in the right direction. So imagine you're gonna place the keyboard on, it should look something like this. And so what you're gonna do is at the bottom of the tablet, you see that triple uh, yellow right here. You just want to place that down onto the triple yellow on the case and it should man uh, magnetically connect just like so. So just make sure that everything is, you know, stable because sometimes you'll connect it and like one of these edges won't be on properly. So if that's the case, just push it to the side and that should solve the issue. Now, if you don't have that triple dot connector, what that means is you have a third party keyboard. And so what you're going to have to do is on the keyboard itself, there is most likely a Bluetooth pair button. Tap on the Bluetooth pair button and then from there, head over to settings, connections, Bluetooth, and then from here, make sure Bluetooth's turned on, and under available devices, your keyboard should show up. I covered the troubleshooting earlier for if you're trying to connect a Bluetooth keyboard, which your keyboard case uh, essentially is, and that is covered again earlier in the video, and then follow that troubleshooting, and your keyboard should be connected. Just keep in mind, if you're using that Bluetooth keyboard, make sure you double check how to pull it into pairing mode. There should be an instruction manual on that keyboard case, or on the listing, which should show you how to do that. So with that being said, thanks for watching, see you guys later, bye bye.